I'm about to tell you something that I don't know why it's accurate and why it makes sense, but mean girls dress mean. Mm-hmm. I know a mean girl based off of how she dress. I know a mean girl based off how she dress. They it's something about the way a mean girl dress. You just know she's a bully. You just know she's nice, nasty. You just know. It's something about the way she, there's archetypes. There's something about a way a girl dress, you can determine whether or not she's mean or not. Now, this, it's not always the case. It's not 100% the case. But it's a lot of the times the case. And I don't know what science that's back behind it, but there's a science behind people's identity and associated with how they dress and the way people are to people me all right y'all so y'all wanted examples and i got some examples for y'all okay on how a mean girl what kind of outfits a mean girl wear now keep in mind these are not 100 percent. obviously anybody could wear anything and be a horrible person but this is what i've noticed okay so you right the lulu lemon girls if there is a girl she got anything like this the Pilates outfit, especially with some type of weird strapping on the back or weird cuts, some type of outfit like this, she she about she about a mean girl. Next, we got the super modest woman. Okay, she covered up head to toe. You know her outfit kind of shapely, and she seemed like she nice and for the girls, but really she be talking behind people back. Mm hmm. Yep, the modest one. This one might throw y'all for a loop, but we got. Any girl who be wearing a long cheetah print, either dress or in this case, cardigan. I don't know what it is about a long cheetah print, just ensemble or dress or cardigan, but it's, it's, it's giving, I don't, I don't like you. It's, it's giving, I'm judging you. Even something like this, the long cheetah print dress or cardigan is giving, you better get out my face and I, I really could care less. I'm about to talk behind you, behind your back. Next, we got the prep girl style, especially with this short and long shirt combo. This right here is giving, I'm super nice and friendly, but as soon as you walk away, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about your family. It's giving, I'm your friends in your face, but as soon as you turn your back, I'm gonna tell Sarah Beth Ann and everything about your business and your husband. And I know y'all was waiting for this one. The baddie aesthetic, okay? Not all the time, but peep the boot. You, you see the dress with the thigh-high boots? It depends on how they match the shoes with the outfit. I'm telling you, you got those baddie, you know, boutique owners. They be acting like they're for the girls and I'm for women, but really they just be using women and be talking behind their back. Yes. Any woman who wear this print or something like it. If you see a print like this or it supposedly supposed to look like the Fendi logo, but it looked like this, she 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 probably a mean girl. She probably is talking about somebody. And I know some of us know this one. Yes, ma'am. The older, the older mid-aged lady. Mm-hmm who be wearing the black and the dresses and them big hats, depending on the hat it is. You see this hat, how it's tilted? That's a 90 degree mean angle, I'm telling you. All right, y'all. So we've been talking about mean girls, but y'all been requesting the nice girl outfit. So I got them here for y'all. So let's get started, okay? Any woman rocking bright colors. You cannot tell me that if you seen a woman rocking bright colors like this, that she was any way but nice. These women be vibrant. These women have an energy and a spirit. They going against the status quo. They, they sticking out. These women are going to be nice. They're going to be approachable. They're going to be full of life, okay? You can't tell me if you see her walking down the street, she going to give you a, a nasty, mean look. This woman right here, she's in her own world. She's enjoying her life. And she knows something about peace and happiness that you don't know, that we, we need to figure out. To, do, do I need to say any words? Look at her. I'm not going to even call her granny because that's not what she is, okay? She is simply a baddie, okay? This is this is a baddie aesthetic with without the negative connotation to it. 
This woman is vibrant. She rocketed. She she like in a whole new reality. Y'all probably already know this one, but I trust any woman or person that look like this. When if they got this signature blue hair and the glasses, they are automatic. I automatically feel safe with them. I don't know what it is, but I automatically feel safe. I automatically feel like they're gonna listen with me and, and empathize, and I automatically feel like they got my back. Like. It's just the blue hair with the glasses combo. And sometimes the blue hair be like green or there might be even a little purple sometimes. But anytime I see a person like this, I know that they they going to be cool. I, I know I ain't got nothing to worry about. Next on the list, we got the painter overalls. Not the jean overall, not jean overalls, painter overalls, okay? Women who wear painter overalls. They are so cool, so chill, so mellow, so nice. It's giving, I, I'm a cool girl. It's giving, you, I know something that you don't know about life, but I'm just enjoying the ride. I'm just at ease. I'm cool with it. I'm cool. And next up, we got any woman who wear a long skirt. I don't, specifically something like this. Or it can be even bigger with like the, the ruffles and stuff at the end. I don't know. It's something about a woman with a long skirt. She is just nice. But don't get it confused. I wish I knew the type of skirt, the name of the skirt that I'm talking about. But it looks something like this. Or something like this, you know, with a, with a nice cool pattern and a nice cool color. It's got to be specific because there are some just long, basic, regular like maxi skirts. No, them women mean don't. It's not them women. It's the other. It's it's. I don't know how to explain the skirt, but when I when I see it, I just know these women gonna be nice. The next one we got is a woman who wears different patterns. Now y'all may not ever pay attention to this, but a woman who wears different patterns. This woman is so comfortable with herself and her style and her energy. She has got really no choice but to just be cool and copacetic. There's no reason why a woman who wears different patterns is going to be anything but herself and a baddie. We talked about baddie aesthetics last time, but this is the baddie aesthetic that you should look for. This is the green flag about baddie aesthetics. She got her different prints on and she know it look good and she's sure of it and she could care less what you think, but she's so nice and she's so cool. Like Miss Ma'am, she's on her excursion for today and when you pass her in the park, she's going to be like, hi, how are you? And she is she going to keep it moving so effortlessly, so effortlessly. And the last one that I have discovered in my life, anytime I met a woman with this hairdo, this pixie cut, and it's always either a white blonde or silver blonde, this cut, these women have been so nice. I don't know what the magic is in this cut. Like this hairstyle... It just signifies peace and niceness. I Every time I've seen a woman come into the store or something or I'm approaching with this hairstyle, I just know they're going to give me such a nice smile and say, hey, how are you? And I just, I just know it. And I know it's genuine. That'd be the thing. Because, you know, people say, hi, how are you? But it's just so genuine coming from somebody with this cut and style. Like these women are just kudos to these women. These women are just everything. They are they've always been nice, at least to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. But these are my automatic trust when it comes to nice girl outfits. All right, y'all. We are back at it again with Mean Girl Outfit Edition Part 3. And here are some of the ones that I got from the comments from y'all based on what y'all was telling me. Y'all feel like her mean girl outfits. Dun 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 da. The scrubs, okay. Any nurse are in doctor's assistant, nurse assistant, practitioner. Y'all said that anybody who wears scrubs is a mean girl. Y'all know y'all wrong. Next on the list is the Visco girl, the big t shirt look, but the shorts underneath. I mean, these girls right here. Not only did they band together in groups of 20 and 30, they was all laughing and kikiing with their Starbucks cups, okay? I'm not sure why somebody said this one. They said any shirt like this with the puffs. With the, with the puff. <laughs> any shirt like this with puffy short sleeves. This is too direct right here. Then you got the woman who wore pants like these. 
Okay, these palazzo pins not and cargo. They have to be cargo. They have to be cargo and they have to have the bill. This combo right here, this is giving show me your manager because my husband owns a boat house and this is unacceptable. Somebody in comments thought that golf girls were safe. Absolutely not, okay? This girl right here, maybe she cool, but she really just have a very like rude kind of nonchalant attitude. And she just hit you with whatever. That's you know, she don't mess with nobody, but you could tell her thoughts are being mean. You know what I'm saying? Her thoughts are. The next one we got is the top hat specifically with the bow. I don't know what it is about the top hat with the bow in the back. It's something about those women that just give off who you think you're talking to. My 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 husband's a lawyer. I wouldn't stand for you telling me you don't have it in the back. What do you mean you don't got it in the back? And I'm not sure why y'all put this one, but it's the middle crown high bun. It's not a it's not on top of the head, but it's like in the center right here. And I don't know, women like that just they just don't be having time. They be having the attitude and they will curse you out, okay? All right, y'all. So y'all wanted me to make it a series, so I'm making it a series, okay? This is a continuation of Mean Girl, Nice Girl Outfits. Now, I'm about to start this series and it's going to be called Either or Neither. So I'm going to show y'all some outfits and I'm going to determine whether or not they either mean or nice girl or either they, they don't apply the mean or nice girl. So let's get into it. Dun, 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 dun. The neutral sweatpants, sweat outfit look. Um, I would say this really depends on the color that's being chosen. Like the girl with the gray, with the black, mm, not sure, not sure. She, not sure. But her friend or her twin, because she's rocking it, she got the different color pants with the green. If you switch up the colors kind of, or if your colors are just not the basic white, cream, or black, or gray, I would, I'm going to say you a, a, a nice girl. So I'm going to have to say the gray hoodie is me and her, her twin is nice. <laughs> Next, we got the North Face Ugg Boot Legging Combo. This woman right here is a menace to society. This woman right here is not to be trusted. And then to top to top it off, she had the nerve to put the, the, the dag hat on. Oh my God. I wouldn't trust this woman walking from a mile away. Like women like this, you, you just know they're mean. You just know they're mean and you know they're just not to be trusted. They This is a dead giveaway, guys. Dead giveaway. All right, next, we got any woman who wear fun pattern colored glasses. I trust these women. These women are showing their personality through their frames and they be matching it with the outfits. Like these women are definitely nice. Like you can't tell me, well, this lady kind of giving a, a, a little bit of me right here, but you know what? I'm going to give her a chance because her scarf and her glasses and she got the green on. I'm going to give her a chance because she got the colors on. I'm going to give her a chance. Next, we got the sweat hoodie with just leggings. If you got this on, you are in the neither category. Like you... There's nothing to really that you're wearing to really emphasize whether you're mean or nice. You could be both. You know, it, now, I'm not going to lie. When when the words start getting on the, the sweatshirt, you can be kind, kind of telling. But I'm still going to keep this in the neither category. Unless you look like this. I'm sorry, but I can just tell that this girl's a menace to society. I can tell she's a problem for her teacher, her mom, her grandma, and the kids on the bus stop. I could just tell that she's 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 bullying them. I could just tell. <laughs> Next, we have the mom jeans. I'm going to give mom jeans in the nice girl category. I do think it depends on what type of top or how you pair it. Like for in this example, this woman is nice because she got the belt on, she got a top with a I'm giving her nice. Even this woman, she almost didn't make it with the mom jeans. But her top is a giveaway. Like the be the top being so weirdly cut, I'm gonna say that she might be nice. I don't know. She also got the nice matching frames with green shoes. So the little pop of color with with the asymmetrical weird top. I'm gonna go ahead and give her the pass. Now, if you rock your mom jeans like this with with a top like this, you are on the borderline. You are starting to get on the borderline of mean you know or or not or or neither you're either on the borderline of mean or neither because 
You really cannot tell if they rocking it like this. If they got a crop top or some type of top with no sleeves and it's crop, it's kind, it's kind of hard to tell. The next one on the list is any black woman with a 4C big afro. These women have always been nice to me. Every time. It don't matter. These women have always been so sweet, kind, and beautiful at that. So these women are definitely on the nice list. Like every time I've seen a black woman with a 4C afro like this, her hair is nice with this coat. It's just she's always been that girl. She's always been that girl. It will always be.